Hello, welcome to RFDSP headquarters in Irvine, California. Today we're going to show you our radio unit hardware. So this is our 8 antenna MIMO RF module. Here are the 8 antenna ports. So this supports 88R TDD or 44R FDD. Inside here we have four analog devices, ADRV 9009s. Uh, RF transceivers on this double wide FMC module. The extra port shown here, we won't be using them today, but they're inputs for external LO and for input and output for calibration signals. So this is designed to optimize performance for beamforming algorithms we have. So this will minimize inter antenna jitter and support with the calibration algorithm the phase alignment of the carrier phase for all eight antennas not just for all eight antennas on this board but this can be cascaded to multiple boards and do and carrier phase alignment for all antennas in the system so on top here we have a eight antenna base station radio unit. As you can see, we've plugged in our eight antenna RF module on its double wide FMC connector into this FPGA carrier card. This is a off the shelf Xilinx evaluation board, a VCU 118. And it has on here a, an ultra scale plus VU9P that's doing the DSP functions for the radio unit. So for this demonstration, we're going to show an uplink connection, an eight antenna uplink connection, where each antenna is cabled one to one with this board below. So below we have the identical hardware, but with different FPGA code to, for UE emulation for playback and record. So we'll be playing a hundred megahertz NR signal, the same signal on all eight antennas from the UE emulator board below going up for the uplink connection to the base station. As you can see here one of the one of the transmit signals is going through a splitter so that we can look at the NR signal on a spectrum analyzer that we're sending. So this is the 5G NR signal that we're sending on all eight antennas. This is configured for 3.5 gigahertz carrier frequency. This is the data channel, the uplink data channel, 100 megahertz. And this signal off to the side here is a single PRATCH channel that's added in with the data. So since we have here eight direct cabled SISO connections, there's no beamforming in the uplink processing. We're just doing here FFT and PRATCH receiver processing. That's running real time in the FPGA. Then the results are passed through to the PC and analyzed non-real time in MATLAB. So here we have the results of the test. This is now running in a continuous loop, but you can see that this is the separate antenna the constellation plot for all eight antennas typically we get about minus 40 db evm on each antenna and this is the output of the PRATCH processing we have four different root sequences but the PRATCH signal we only have one PRATCH signal on this first root sequence so these peaks show the detection of that PRATCH signal and the fact that there are no peaks on these other root sequences show is, is correct for this signal. So for a radio unit with more than eight antennas we would use our own FPGA base board. This, uh, this is our RFDSP FPGA carrier card and as you can see we've mounted two eight antenna RF modules side by side on this one card. So this one card here will support 16 antenna radio unit. And this box is configured for a 64 antenna base station 
four cards, four times 16, 64 antennas. And below we can also install a, a PC blade, a dual Xeon PC blade that can support all the upper five processing and the Mac layer. So you could have a, this, this box here would support a 64 antenna full base station. So that's our RF DSP 8 antenna radio unit demonstration. Thank you for watching.